What's up, gang? We are back for more X-Men Next Dimension uh, expert arcade runs, and this time we are going to be using Forge. Now, I said a couple of videos ago that, you know, I didn't really have a ton of interest in playing Forge, but that was a lie. I recently took another look at the character, and he's super fun. Uh, his level 3 is amazing. His supers, his supers in general are really fun to use. Um, he has a bunch of different ammo types that sort of change the way he plays the game. He could be a zoner, but he is far better um, in the mid-range. And, and frankly, up close, his, his, his jab leads to incredible stuff. He has a really good whiff punish down forward three. Like, really good. It's a really good string to confirm into, you know, launches, to air seeks, to whatever you want. Um, really, really good character. Um, can push 50-50s, uh, you know, just like a good character, and I'd like to show that off. Um, he's fun. Plus, we have this X-Factor outfit. I think this is his X-Factor outfit from the, the mid-90s. Perfect. So that. This is uh, down forward 3-4. Three, four, three, four. Uh, it's just so good. And so, like, what are the things that, like, are good? So he's got his standard sort of, you know, this is standard, like, retinue of, you know, zoning tactics, right? So, like, he can get under projectiles. You know, if you're, you're sort of in a war. Oh, that's interesting. That was very strange. We can also just beat the living crap out of people with our massive gun. We can toss grenades from the air. We can also toss those on the ground, which uh, is some of our best uh, some of our best damage. And there you go. So that after his level three, that is an unscaled uh, forward three four three. Great stuff, real honestly. Just a good uh, OTG string. What's really good whoop, is uh, so well. Not what's really good, but what's really fun stop it is you can load different weapons different ammo types uh, and some of these are very difficult for uh, for your opponent to deal with so let's let's like let's work off the jab oh that's definitely a punish on his part so if we're going to work off the jab and I you know sort of explaining why jabs are so great what I think I think most like characters who are really good have good jabs so that didn't work out as as planned so this just that just hits and then bonk it's over Plasma coil charged. which is cool his level three is a lot like havocs um just orbital assault just raining destruction from on high Plasma coil it's charged. amazing um so okay okay beast This is the string that I want everybody to sort of, I want you to sort of take a look at here. Being able to crumple. So I want you to look at the time too. Like no time has passed. And Beast is already dead. So Plasma Quill charged. Forge is powerful. He has a very powerful stuff. Uh Boink. So here we go. Let's show off some CCR. His CCR is a little harder to do than a lot of other characters, but still worth using. Very nice flip kick. Yes, uh, Beast has flip kick and flop kick, if you remember. Okay, we'll take that. Um, and that avoided my level 2 super. My level 2 super actually... Ooh. My level two super will cancel everybody else's uh, superpowers, so you can't use any supers after you've been hit by my level two for about ten seconds, maybe a little more. Ooh, this level two, so cool. We want a stun to go in my into my air level two, so Forge actually has what one two. Okay, that was supposed to be way cooler than it was. We messed up the combo there, but that's okay. And Beast is actually a little bit shorter than a lot of other characters, so sometimes stuff... Yeah, it doesn't work on him. 
which is uh, a little annoying, but that's okay. That wasn't a launch, huh? That was actually cool. We'll just punish with this. Because <laughs> we can. Actually, that wasn't an unscaled damage, was it, before? I think I said it was unscaled, but... Um, so, you saw the missile... Let's, uh, let's keep the missiles. Let's keep the missiles going. Bam! So... There you go. I'll show off a couple other, um, a couple other ammo types, and I'll try to hit CCR. Um, but again, I I personally think Forge is really really fun. He's got a lot of style. He uses his gun in interesting ways. Um, yeah, just a cool character in general, and not what I would ever like aesthetically. I never would have thought I would like this character. Um, Sentinel A, we should be able to do some serious damage to. Um, with some looping stuff. So let's let's see what we can do here. Sentinel is kind of a, a pain in the butt in general. Um, does a lot of counters and ignores a lot of your attacks with armor, but I think we should be okay. Just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super punishable. Cool, so we've got our level two here. Okay, fair. Fair. We were just, uh... Wait, wait, wait. That was wrong. Okay, what we're trying to do is 1-2 into jumping, jumping 4. We're too short. I love that. Let's just shoot him with missiles, huh? Uh, we also have... So we're actually going to use... We are going to do the combo that I'm attempting. Okay, we need to do just straight up jump four. This is how the speedrun looks. You just wait for him to do to commit to something with like crazy unsafe. I'm not sure why jumping four is so hard after that. Um, we didn't transfer. Dang. That was cool. Some characters uh, have, you know, special uh, interactive throws. Uh, also, in this game, if you didn't know, you are not able to uh, build meter off of stuff in the air. Interesting. Oh, because he had armor. Our getup. Uh, not a lot of characters can combo off of their getup. Luckily, Forge can. Let's use our ancestral gifts or ancestral something. I can't exactly remember. You can combo off of this level four. In general, any the gravity scaling is really high because the higher your combo counter goes, the um, more intense the gravity scaling. So after that many hits in the air, it's pretty hard to continue, but charge. you can, and it's awesome. Chill, Wolverine, chill. Good thing we have trusty... Boink. He also has a lot of easy launchers. And, uh, yeah. Dead. Plasma coil charged. Very, very good character. Let's, let's, uh, let's try, like, what other stuff do we have? Um. I like using this move. And you can actually, uh, sort of vary the timing on those, uh, gun strikes. Got to do it a little quicker than that. See how, like, we can vary the timing on there? Oh, I haven't even shown off the, um, the really weird level three. That's not the one I meant. It's this. 
Oh no, he knocked us out of it. Um, there's no way we can get it back unless we, we decide to do some hardcore taunting. Shall win the day. Uh, I think he only has one taunt, so we, we can't even show off that much. Shall win the day. Oh, do we have it? Okay, let's do it. So you just fire a bunch of different projectiles. There is probably a way to optimize this um, to get more charged. damage, but it's strange. It's a strange super. Um, it's hard to optimize, and it's not that good. It lets you strafe eight-way run like really easily, um, and sort of like pepper the field Plasma with just charged. tons of projectiles. I just don't find it that useful, especially considering you have access to it, like Orbital Assault, which does a bunch of damage super consistently, one hit. Uh, oh, we that was a cool, that was a nice little freestyle combo we had there. Um, I'm, I'm slightly annoyed that we didn't get it all the way. Um, let's see. Now what, what, what do we want? Uh, let's, let's show off Beam. I actually like Beam. Okay, every every one of every one of his moves, every one of his uh, different charge moves has an uh, incredible amount of uh, incredible amount of recovery frames. Dead I guess it's because they just you know they didn't, like a lot like rogues. Um, her super her powers, they have a ton of recovery and a ton of uh, a, like a ton of startup. Which is such a shame um, that they, you know, they're not really like more useful in her kit. But what do you do, man? Oh, we were supposed to use beam there. So beam is fun. Uh, this is plasma flame. So I guess we'll just go through here. Ow! Maybe chill. Maybe chill. And you'll shoot like a, you know, a flamethrower. <laughs> Get me countered. But uh, it's super safe. And then it gives you quite a bit of frame advantage afterwards. But as you saw, you know, you can counter it. So, you know. So that's... Whoop. Oh, have we shown off spread shot yet? We need to, like, actually win this fight, don't we? Good week we can with just two level threes. I what, what what do you want from me, you guys? What do you want? Uh, okay, so let's let's just oh. definitely super safe if you're not countering it. We can just so this like you can see you know definitely an annoying dude to approach. And maybe this is uh maybe this is this definitely is like my least fun, least favorite of the, uh, not my least favorite, Trap Shot's probably my least favorite. But, uh, oh, what, what, there's, there's some other stuff we can show off too. Um, so his, his, uh, his grab, that move from Gambit is ridiculous. And imagine if the computer, I love that, knew what we do. This is what I wanted to show off. You actually get a free, uh, you get a free level three off a forward throw. A lot of characters can't, can't combo, excuse me, can't combo out of their throws. Forge can with one of his best moves, and honestly, one of the best supers in the game, bar none. It's like you know, havoc, full screen, zero frame, forge, full screen, zero frame for insane damage. Um, Cyclops. Level three again, just single hitting attacks that do buttloads of damage and come out like that. Blob is gonna be a fun forge fight. Uh, we have this thing called spread shot. Spread shot is another equipable move once you uh, reload it. So let's uh, let's do that now, and let's just cover the area in projectiles. And yeah. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Play off, play off, my dude. Level 
Lay off, my dude. Um, and this actually might be one of the only times this is like a worthwhile we haven't we didn't reorient. Oh, that's a shame. So you can also I mean being blob in this instance is very difficult. He's a big boy, takes a lot of damage, and uh he gets hit by multiple spread shots at once. Let's see if uh I wanna say like plasma right, plasma flame maybe I can crush you and counter and still be home for dinner. Okay, okay, very good level one there. Fine. I feel like yeah, that would be a good a good setup, right? Like hit him with flame. And then <laughs> God. Expert. Expert enemies are so brutal. Now he cannot, uh, Blob cannot be thrown. Um, he's too big. He's too big a boy. So I was actually going up to throw him. I didn't even show off any air throws or really any air seeks. Um, mostly trying. because you don't need to with this character. Ow. We didn't even crash to the ground yet. We can do a, a little bit of... Technology bolt. shall win the day. Lay in a grenade. Very cool. All right, let's do gas grenade. So, I like this move. I don't actually think it's very good. It cause it gives you tons of frame advantage on hit if you uh, hit OTG, bonk. But other than that, it feels like it's not that great. <laughs> she is all the moves. That's not the move. So that was gas grenade in her face. Um, wah. This is the battle of the big guns. But what we want to do... Yeah, I guess, you know, we haven't really... I'll show off why I think uh, 134 is such a solid strength. Not only does it... Not only does it stun on the second hit and change up your counter timing, but you can do something like the the grenade toss afterwards, which is an incredible. Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it at all. But there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different moves you can do out of it, which I want to say it's not like rare at all, but. Uh, it makes it tricky to block and counter. Um, so it's like it's a jab, stun. You can turn it into. Cannon well, primed. I'll show. I'll show. I, I'm going to show it off instead of talking. So you can do that. Okay, she's a little too, a little too small, and I was a little too far away. But there you go. We can CCR for the win here. That's it, you guys. Bonk. Um, let's let's equip something else. We have trap shot. We don't want trap shot. Now, if I was smart. This is such a cool super. Fine, fine. You can hit me with it. I made a mistake. Smack me into those timeless pylons. Not into the tomb, though. It's so small. So small. So if you do get this OTG, not the easiest thing to do. So this is great. This is a one-hit air seek. Right for times like this, where the punish would be a little more difficult because she's airborne. Jones. I 
forgot. There's a... Uh, whoa. This is called... No, we don't want Plasma Flame. We want... This is not going to hit at all. I feel like that was definitely not a punish, but we died. The, that, the trade was not in our favor. I think we can all agree. We want double helix. There we go. I don't think double helix is particularly good, but it is cool. Uh, the only problem is if both of the I'm projectiles sure hit on the same frame, uh, it will only record one. So you'll do half the damage as opposed to full damage, which is really annoying, actually. Uh, and that's actually like uh, the projectiles in this game are really wonky. Mostly because, uh, like, things will disappear uh, in the face of other things. It doesn't... Okay, we'll take that break. There's no real, like, rhyme or reason, it feels like, sometimes. Or at least, if there is, it's not immediately apparent. Uh, we just love missiles, dudes. That was supposed to be into level 3. Let's see if we can shut off our super. Wow, and killer. I think our last fight is going to be Storm. This is Phoenix. Phoenix, another great character. I always say that like characters are great. I personally think they have so many like so many so many tools in this game to just destroy the opponent. Um, it sort of reminds me. There's a term for these kinds of games where you just like one touch is destruction. It's like the the King of the North Star, uh, Fist of the North Star games. Oh, they're called something. I can't remember exactly what it is. This game is like that. Um, one mess up, you're dead. You're dead. Easy. So, yeah. Though there are things to counteract it, right? Like, you can super out of a lot of strings. You can counter through strings. You can jab through strings. You know, there is eight-way run. You can, um, you can, you yeah, you can super, invincible fire. super through a lot of strings. Um, okay, fair, fair. Oh, I'm gonna get just kicked right up into the sky. Super cool, super cool set of strings. We're gonna just all right, fair. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Phoenix is really cool. The computer will often like uh, will often do very specific things. Like if they have full bar, if she has full bar, uh, we never want to get hit by confuse. So that's what I mean by like uh, doing things, you know, in between strings. There's a lot of ways to punish. Technology shall win the day. Boom. Unscaled Plasma damage there charged. on throws. Unscaled damage on on all throws, which is insanely good. Bonk. I meant to do this. So look at how much damage we just did, and she can't super. So like, let's see how long she can't super for. A really long time. Uh, we need missiles, my dudes. Ow. We don't care about your... That's not safe. But it feels like it could be, and that's like a, that's like that's a cool thing. Sort of mixing up the timing of the forward one two. I like that. Oh, I don't like this map though. We will often smash into the ceiling. Rogue actually has an infinite, where if she air throws, it causes the opponent to fall super slow, and then you can just keep jumping up and air throwing till they're dead. It's a really interesting infinite. Stage specific. I'm not sure if anybody else has it. Um, just from the way she does it, she's supposed to she's sort of like in the air throw, she throws up and she punches them. And it seems like for whatever reason, that punch makes them hit the ceiling. And then they... I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. But uh, Storm is nuts. Great character. Uh, goes to town on our faces here. That's just uh, how she rolls. 
switch to missiles because we like missiles. And then uh, we'll just make sure that we always have missiles handy. Oftentimes she will use that sort of, uh, what we'll call it, the incredible, uh, or incredible, just, that, I think that is like, boing. see, there's less time for running up and doing damage because they smack the ceiling so hard and so quick. Boom. Okay, we got hit by the lightning tornado. Sure. See, see, did you notice how my uh, projectile disappeared there? It's actually, it's it's probably better to to leave this area. God, she's so cool. I wish that I knew Storm better. I'll probably spend some time, you know, sort of trying to learn her. Because she is worth learning. She's an incredible character. A lot of tools in her tool belt. A lot of tools. And like I said, very, very cool character. No. You dead. Bonk. Nothing you can do there. Uh, and then she would prove me wrong by using a zero frame. Her flowchart is pretty intense. Yoink. Okay. So that move uh, is an easy infinite for her. It will, uh, you just have to do that move forever. You do the move, dash forward. That was supposed to be a, a punish there. See, does that okay? That does. That's sort of a fade away. Nice looking fade away attack. I like that. Ah. Okay, I do like. Bonk. Okay, I deserve to be thrown. Now let's see if she can get out of my level four. Oh, so little chip for all that meter and definitely not safe but we'll take it super cool by the way this is definitely a punish get out get out. see like oh the 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 uh okay we deserve this loss <laughs> okay, sure. We'll take it. We'll take it. But we do gas grenade. Look at the, the recovery on all these. You really can't afford to use a lot of them. Maybe missile and plasma grenade. Or pl uh, plasma flamethrower. What was that move called again? By the way, that is so hard to break. So hard to break. And into your level I four, Danger, we dead. No way we're coming back from that. I believe that move is called Blizzard. I don't know if they got inspiration from the old, uh, the old X-Men titles. You know, the old 2D fighters. Because um, she definitely, obviously, has the infinite, or she has the infamous version in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, does she have any children with the Atom or the other Marvel vs. games? I don't know. Always a fun punish, honestly. But there's not much you can do against a motivated Forge uh, with meter. There's just not. There's going to be a time where he catches you low. Um, or whatever. And just nukes you with Orbital Assault. Anyway, gang, uh, that was Forge. Hope you enjoyed. I had fun. And...
Talk soon.